What's up, everybody? Sensei here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another video. Hey, Sensei, can you take me for a ride on your EUC? Yeah, girl, I see you seeing me, and I can see that that gym is paying off because you got a nice chunk of change behind you there. And with all due respect, what you snacking on? She's snacking on something good. <laughs> but some of the looks we get on our AUC is uh, just hysterical. But here we are at Pier 76 in New York City. And there we got Steven about to just slice and dice on a V11. And that's one of the best things about riding an AUC. You never know who you're going to run into. So Steven, take it away. Bam! Look at him. Hitting the gangster lane. And uh, Pier 76 is actually really nice, man. Sits right off the Hudson. And I still think the V11 is one of the best values you can get out there for an AUC. It gives you everything that you need. Look at the uh, view there of the Hudson River. And man, the weather was beautiful. We got another shot of Steven. Got his shirt flapping in the wind like Michael Jackson. Bam, about to go into slow-mo. Look at that. And I'm running on a Tesla. And I tell you what, I had put so much air in the tire today. It didn't measure what was going in the thing. So I was getting a little wobbly wobbles there. But, uh, you know, I'm still riding it out. And if Steven, if you see this video, it was a pleasure meeting you. If you're ever in NYC, I would highly recommend that you visit Pier 76. But uh, overall, man, had a really good time. I love this wheel. I love all my wheels. But for commuting, I still think that the Tesla V2 is amazing. It's easy to slap this thing on a bus. It's not overbearing on anybody. It's not getting in anybody's way. I just throw it right underneath the seat or right between my legs. And that's what I do. So I'm jetting across New York City and um, just enjoying myself. I would love, again, to get a suspension wheel, but I'm trying to stay south of $3,000. And right here, I have to venture out on the West Side Highway. Wouldn't recommend it on a Tesla, but I'm only going to go. Uh, I thought I was going to have to go about three, four blocks, but I didn't. So I was ready to. Uh, push the uh, upper speed limits of the Tesla, but I kind of just duck over. All right, here we go. We got a Lance Armstrong wannabe. And on this bike path, they want no electric skateboards, bikes, or unicycles. But I found out that these cyclists are so aggressive on the Hudson bike path or the Hudson Greenway, um, more so than any e-bike or electric unicycle. We normally just kind of chill ride on that thing, but you do see signs. I'm going to ride on this thing until someone tells me to, you know, tells me otherwise. I don't see why if you're just chilling on a path that you can't ride on. It makes absolutely no sense. What's up, everybody? Sensei here taking a Nice little cruise to New York City. Hopefully the wind noise is not so bad. I'm not using a mic. Forgot my glasses. Forgot my shades. But now nah, just taking a nice easy breeze. A nice little zippy zip through NYC. After work, the weather is beautiful. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe in the low 60s. made it to Central Park and let me tell you if you go to Central Park for the first time on your electric unicycle just take your time and enjoy the ride it looks smooth on a video but let me tell you there are some ruts on the road and your wheel will track on you in a minute I had my wheel track on me about three times if I had been a new rider sensei would have donated some skin 
to that road. I'm telling you, so be careful. But you can't come to New York without doing some laps through Central Park. It's just a beautiful place to be. There's always something to see, always something to hear. And um, when I first moved to New York City, I spent a lot of time in Central Park. I'm a country boy, so that was the only place where I could find some grass and trees. <laughs> I'm telling you. But awesome place, man. I love it. But um, I don't know. So there's really not much more. Again, I'm just going to keep slapping the miles on the wheel. I'm still trying to decide what suspension wheel I want. I think I know what I'm going to get. And I will tell you all at a later date. I'm just trying to see where I can get the best deal. But I think I've narrowed it down. I'm trying to stay south of $3,000. I don't want to pay three grand for a wheel. You need to keep some cheese in your pocket so you can snack on other things. Remember, you get on your wheel, you ride it like you hate it. You be safe out there, but you ride it like you hate it. I'm Sensei. Hello, good night, and enjoy the rest of the video.